In this tease math example, we're going to look at a percentage word problem that deals with defects. And you have to read the question very carefully. And I always say that, but definitely with these types of examples. And to show you what I'm talking about, let's look at my infinite QBank. This is where you can generate an infinite number of questions. And again, this is for T's. We're gonna look at M.1.6. And the topic that we want is defectives. Let's generate those questions. And with the infinite QBank, when you generate 10 questions, totally random. Let's just look over these real quick. Sure, both of these are talking about t-shirts. Two completely different questions though, if you actually read them. But then we have problems talking about batteries, computer chips. But the important piece here is what that question's asking you and you making sure you understand what is given. And actually number four, this is a tricky one. So take a second, pause the question, read it over. And once you've done that, if we understand this question, we're trying to figure out how many computer chips are in the shipment. We are trying to find the total. You could think of this as the whole. But reading this very carefully, this 2619, that's just the number of non-defective computer chips. The 3% represents the percentage of chips that are defective. So notice we have something talking about non-defective and then something talking about defective. I wanna show you two approaches real quick. Since the problem says 3% are defective, the remaining 97% are not. 100% minus 3% is 97%. Now I'm gonna show you the proportion way right here in a moment, but a quick way to find the total, if we think about the part, which is this 2619 non-defective, you do not multiply. If we divide that by 97%, which is the percentage of non-defective, there's your total right there. But most students get confused about knowing when to multiply versus when to divide. And that takes practice. So here's our proportion. Let's think part over whole equals percent over 100. And what you must make sure match up here are these two things. Since we have the number of non-defective over here, we want the percentage of non-defective over here. And remember, we're trying to find the total. Our word problem gave us the number of non-defective. And then we use this 3% that were defective to get the remaining 97% that are not defective. Notice the X is in our total, which is what we're trying to solve for. And with any proportion, if you cross multiply and divide, you will get 2,700. Yes, that's a longer way, but the proportion is a very good approach. And if we come back to the infinite QBank and we type in our answer of 2,700, that's the total number of computer chips. Let's check it. Instant feedback, check it out, we get it correct. And we have an explanation here that is somewhat similar to what I just showed you a moment ago. But I'm telling you the infinite QBank gives you all these different scenarios where you have to read the word problem very carefully. So head over to app.bcraftmath.com, check out the infinite QBank. There are several free topics for you to sample. More topics are getting added on a regular basis. Thanks for watching and take care.